My research focus is on future work, and today I want to share with you some of my thoughts about the future right healing sector after the pandemic. Since the beginning of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected all dimensions of our lives and economy. Sharing economy being no exception, especially in times when sharing becomes a big no-no. With social distancing and reduced mobility, the ride-hailing sector was particularly hard hit. Businesses reported slowing down by 70 to 80 percent, and giants like Uber and Lyft reported 10 to 20 percent layoffs. It is precisely the drivers in ride hailing sector that were negatively impacted by the pandemic. On one hand, they had to make an impossible choice between work and health. And on the other hand, because of their status as independent workers, they did not enjoy any of the labor or social protections. The pandemic has brought mega uncertainties and it is very hard to predict long-term consequences. As people start going back to work and mobility increases, we will have to see how quickly people regain trust in sharing transportation. Companies will continue to adjust their business models, expanding to bikes, scooters, food deliveries and such. Unfortunately, not all companies will survive the pandemic, and for sure we will be looking at a much smaller sector in the future. The change that must happen after the pandemic is the regulation of the status of drivers in the right hailing sector. If it was possible in some countries to expand the labor and social rights and protection to these categories of workers, there is no reason why this would not be possible after the pandemic. And it is my hope that we will, in the future, we will see a much more decent work in this sector of sharing economy.